The health care workers, as Gabe just mentioned, they're facing a, a, a real shortage of personal protective equipment, PPE. We've heard about the pleas for donations, especially for those N95 face masks. Well, now, now there's an Ohio-based research company. It's called Battelle. They've developed a system that they say can decontaminate those masks and allow hospitals to reuse them. The Food and Drug Administration recently approved the process. I'm joined now uh, exclusively to tell us all about this new technology by Battelle's president and CEO, Louis Von Thayer. Good morning to you, Lou. Uh, thanks for, for being with us this morning. The critical, con the critical care decontamination system, as you guys call it. In the simplest of terms, how does this thing work? Sure. Uh, Craig, thank you and good morning. Thank you for having me today. Uh, first, I'd like to give a quick shout out to the team at Patel. Uh, we've been on a war footing for the last couple months and uh, people are working around the clock. I couldn't be more proud of them. The company's mission is to advance science and technology for societal benefit. And we have the best chance now to do that and make a difference. So the system we've built basically takes the ISO containers, the trucks that you see going down the highway. We outfit them, put sensors inside, and we We'll put racks of masks. We bring the mask in. We hook them up then to a, um, a, a, a hose that will put vaporized hydrogen peroxide at a, a slight pressure uh, and bathe those masks in that for about two and a half hours. After that time, those masks are clean. We then have to outgas for about several hours. And then we can take the mask back. We'll ship them back to the same hospitals. Uh, this technology we worked on with the FDA five years ago and proved it could be done. We just never thought about scaling it before. And the most important part of this is we have to be able to do a lot to really make a difference. So our team's worked on this around the clock. We worked very closely with the FDA. We got approval at 9 o'clock last night or Sunday night. And yesterday we started cleaning our first mask. Um, our partners, Ohio Health here in central Ohio, has helped us work logistics chains on how to mark the mask and make sure the right masks go back to the right hospitals. And we're in the process of, of starting to deploy systems around the country to make a difference. How, how many masks can you do um, in, in a day, Lou? So each one of these systems, a full system, can do up to 80,000 masks in a day. Uh, we do that. We can do 10,000 masks in one of those containers I just mentioned. We have four of those that tie to a system, and we run multiple shifts. Uh, we'll literally work this around the clock to meet the need of the nation. And yesterday in Ohio, as I understand it, today um, you set up shop in, in New York, specifically Long Island. Where else do you guys plan on deploying over the next few days? So over the next few days and weeks, uh, we're going to try to put a second system in New York. We're looking for locations with the city health leaders uh, to do that. Uh, we're looking at Boston, Chicago, and probably Washington, D.C. Uh, we are then going to be getting more parts over the coming weeks to be able to build more systems and deploy them as well. And this is, this is personal for you, as, as I understand it yes. as well. It certainly is. Uh, my daughter's a doctor in Atlanta, an anesthesiologist, and um, she's told me of the, the trade-offs they've had to make and the rationing of supplies. I've got a niece who is a nurse in Kansas, and uh, we're working with the health officials here, too. So for all of you on the front lines, uh, everyone who's delivering our food, uh, uh, taking care of us, first responders, but especially those in our hospitals, if we can help make them a little bit more safe and get back to being able to use uh, clean masks with each patient each day. Um, I think we'll, we'll feel like we've done a small part to help fix this. Um, 80,000 masks a day. Lou, the, the, the technology, it sounds amazing. Keep us posted. Uh, again, Battelle, President and CEO, Louis Von Thayer. Louis, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you.